So from here we can see the steel bridge and you can see a max train going across the top deck of that bridge. And pretty soon I'm going to be walking on the bottom deck of the bridge and we'll see what we can see. So here we have a staircase. You can see the convention center beyond it. So this staircase goes up to the Rose Quarter, goes up to normal street level. And then this way, we walk under the bridge. So this bridge has two decks. It can lift them both. Um, there's not a lot of tra uh, cargo traffic going past this point, but there is some. So depending on how tall the ship is, one or both decks gets lifted up. Well, both decks get lifted up, but it can go up further. And uh, there's like some weird fact or something about this bridge carries trains on its lower deck. And uh, we have a foot and bike path on the lower deck as well. And on the top deck, it carries the Portland Max, the uh, blue, green, and red lines, buses, uh, passenger cars, and also uh, pedestrians and bicycles. And then underneath it is boats. So there's some like, like little trivia tidbit that this is the only place in the world where a train can go over a train that goes over a boat or a, a bicycle goes over a train that's going over a boat. Um, it is very multimodal. It's also a place where we're very close to the freight lines. Um, and this is the freight line that brings it, or these are the train tracks that bring in freight. And they also bring in uh, the Amtrak Castigades and the Coast Starlight at this point. Um, so if you've ridden those trains, you've gone over this bridge. And if you are interested in rail photography, um, this is a great place to be very close to trains. So foamers, feel free to come and like hang out here um, as long as you follow safety rules. As you can see, it is kind of like this a narrow path. We're really close to this. There's a lot of vibrations and noise, so be careful here, which might be the opposite of what I'm doing right now. Anyway, so this is just a brief walk across the steel bridge, which by the way, steel bridge, well, what's the big deal about that? When this bridge was built, it was one of the few bridges with a all steel construction or all of a certain type of steel construction. So it is still the steel bridge. Over there, we have the Broadway Bridge and the Burnside Bridge, both of which we've crossed before. Oh, we have a walk signal too, that's good. So this is where, in certain cases, I guess it would stop us. Anyway, um, so I've seen a lot of things today. This is the last one. It's double tracked too. I mean, this is a serious rail bridge. And uh, so now I'm just gonna put all of this behind me, the sunny summer evening, late afternoon Portland. And uh, just hope I've shared some good stuff today, including this bridge.